Rheinmetall's integration of the Sky Ranger 35 air defense system onto the Leopard 1 chassis represents a significant step forward in addressing the evolving demands of modern warfare, particularly the rising threat of unmanned aerial systems and other low-altitude aerial targets. Unveiled to the public on September 18, 2024, at Rheinmetall's Oxenboden Testing Center in Switzerland, during the Sky Ranger System Demonstration Days, this hybrid system pairs a proven Cold War-era tank chassis with cutting-edge anti-aircraft technology. The Sky Ranger 35, equipped with the 35mm Orlikon KDG revolver cannon and advanced hit efficiency and destruction ammunition, offers a formidable response to contemporary battlefield challenges, such as drone swarms and cruise missiles. Rheinmetall's choice of the Leopard 1, a lighter, widely available platform, underscores a practical approach to delivering cost-effective, mobile, short-range air defense solutions, with potential applications for nations like Ukraine, seeking affordable yet capable systems amid ongoing conflicts. The Sky Ranger 35's technical specifications highlight its suitability for modern air defense needs. The unmanned turret, weighing approximately 4.25 tons when loaded, houses the Orlikon KDG cannon, capable of firing up to 1,000 rounds per minute with an effective range of 4 kilometers. The A-head ammunition, featuring 152 tungsten subprojectiles released in a programmable airburst, is optimized for small, fast targets like drones, offering a lethal cloud that can also disable armored ground targets by targeting optics and sensors. The turret's 252-round beltless magazine ensures sustained engagement capability, while its sensor suite, comprising four S-band AESA radars, a Ku-band tracking radar, and electro-optical units with infrared and daylight cameras, provides 360-degree coverage and precise target tracking, even in contested environments with electronic interference. Controlled by the SkyMaster Fire Control software, the system automates target detection and engagement proposals. Though the commander retains final firing authority, balancing autonomy with human oversight. Integrating this advanced turret onto the Leopard 1 chassis required minimal hull modifications. The commander and gunner were relocated to the left of the driver, with a second front hatch added, and a pedestal welded to support the turret. This design preserves the, the Leopard 1's mobility, enhanced by retractable hydraulic feet for firing stability, while leveraging its existing durability and off-road performance. The feasibility of this integration hinges on several factors, starting with the Leopard 1's compatibility as a carrier platform. Originally introduced in the 1960s, the Leopard 1 is lighter, around 42 tons, and less armored than modern tanks like the Leopard 2, making it less suited for frontline tank combat, but ideal for a Shorad role where speed and availability outweigh heavy protection needs. Rheinmetall's demonstration on a Leopard 1A5BE variant at Oxenboden proved the concept, with the system successfully engaging a simulated Iranian UAV and a ground target on its second attempt, after resolving an initial component failure. The choice of an older chassis also enhances feasibility by tapping into surplus stocks, Hundreds of Leopard 1s remain in storage or limited use across Europe, reducing production costs and timelines compared to building new platforms. The turret's modularity further bolsters practicality, as Rheinmetall has shown it can adapt to various carriers, including the Boxer Wheeled Vehicle, displayed at the British Army's 2024 Defense Vehicles Dynamics event. However, challenges remain. The Leopard 1's lighter armor leaves it vulnerable to ground threats, and its aging mechanical systems may require maintenance upgrades to ensure reliability. Still, for air defense rather than direct combat, these limitations are manageable, making the integration technically and economically viable. In the context of modern warfare, the Sky Ranger 35 on Leopard 1 fills a critical niche as a mobile, gun-based Shorad system. The proliferation of drones, evident in Ukraine's conflict with Russia, 
has exposed gaps in traditional air defenses, which often rely on expensive missiles ill-suited for swarms of cheap UAS. The Sky Ranger 35's high rate of fire and ahead ammunition offer a cost-effective counter, with each round far cheaper than a missile, yet capable of neutralizing diverse threats from micro UAVs to cruise missiles. Its mobility allows it to protect advancing units or static assets like bases and infrastructure, a role reminiscent of the Flak Panzer Gepard, another Leopard 1-based system that Ukraine has used effectively against Russian drones. Unlike the Gepard, which relies on twin 35mm cannons and older radar, the Sky Ranger 35's advanced sensors and automation enable faster, more precise engagements, adapting to the speed and complexity of modern aerial threats. Rheinmetall's plans to supply 10 units to Ukraine by 2026 alongside Skynex systems signal its strategic significance in active war zones, though financing and contracts remain pending as of March 2025. Beyond Ukraine, its appeal lies in reviving surplus Leopard 1s for NATO allies or export markets needing affordable upgrades to counter evolving air threats. Comparing the Sky Ranger 35 to regional competitors reveals its strengths and limitations. The Jeppard, while a historical benchmark, lacks the Sky Ranger's automation and advanced ammo, making it less effective against drone swarms despite its proven track record. Russia's Pantsir S-1, a hybrid gun missile system on wheeled or tracked chassis, offers greater versatility with its 30mm cannons and missiles, boasting a 20km range for the latter. However, Pantsir's higher cost and complexity contrast with the Sky Ranger 35's focus on simplicity and affordability, and its performance in Ukraine has been mixed, with losses to drones highlighting vulnerabilities. The Turkish Korkut, another Shored system with twin 35mm guns on a tracked chassis, shares similarities with the Sky Ranger 35, including a head-like ammo, but its radar and automation lag behind Rheinmetall's ASA and Skymaster integration. Israel's Iron Dome, while highly effective against rockets, is static and missile-based, making it a poor comparison for mobile gun systems. The Sky Ranger 35 thus stands out for its balance of modern technology, cost efficiency, and adaptability, though it sacrifices missile range and heavier armor found in some rivals. Overall, the Sky Ranger 35 on Leopard 1 is a feasible and significant development for modern warfare, particularly encountering the drone-centric threats dominating current conflicts. Its integration leverages existing platforms to deliver a potent, mobile Shorad capability at a fraction of the cost of new systems, appealing to budget-conscious militaries. While it lacks the versatility of hybrid competitors like Pantsir, its focus on gun-based defense with advanced sensors and ammo fills a specific, pressing need. For Ukraine and similar contexts, it could serve as a Gepard successor, enhancing point defense for mobile forces and critical sites. Its success, however, depends on overcoming logistical hurdles, securing contracts, ensuring Leopard 1 reliability, and proving its battlefield efficacy beyond demonstrations. If Rheinmetall navigates these challenges, the Sky Ranger 35 could redefine affordable air defense, blending legacy hardware with next-generation precision to meet the skies of the 21st century head-on.